so if you swipe swipe it this way it goes back to the front back camera swipe that way pretty simple pretty easy completely touch screen i love this camera <laughs> guys man it's your boy real to real man back in here with another video hey man say man hey man y'all already know man it's your boy man real to real y'all already know what it is but yeah man today man we're gonna be doing this review on this new product called ehome and so you guys didn't know it's like a backup review camera and it's a mirror so we're gonna be installing that and i'm gonna be doing a review on it today so hey let's get into it but here's the Ehome A10. So we're gonna be installing this today. I'm not gonna show you guys all of the install, but I was just doing a review on it because today's video is sponsored by Ehome. So yeah, let's open up the box, let's check everything out, and let's see what's inside. So let's get this open. Hope you guys see me real good, see everything that I'm doing right now. But let's open this up. Hope that's a good angle for y'all. Seems like it's the backup camera, it's the mirror, and we have a little box right here. So this little box should have all the wires and everything like that in it. So I'm gonna take you guys through this with everything that's inside of here. So basically we have a, a cleaning cloth for the cameras and for the mirror have the instruction guide we have what it seemed like to be the back of the camera the mountain um breaking things for the mirror and we have the little tool that you tuck the wires in with tear that thing nice and crisp so you won't have wires running everywhere you know this right here this tool right here this is used for a lot of different things so it might come in handy for something else you got going. You can always use this and keep this as a spare and never throw it away. Because you never know when you'll need it again. Yeah, these are the mount brackets for the back of the mirror to clamp on to the mirror. Then we have the wires right here. Sorry about the airplane noise, you guys. <laughs> they fly over here all day long. So, we're going to make it through that. I know you guys ain't worried about all of that anyway. But yeah, these are the rear view camera wires. So these will plug into the reverse light and things like that. So when soon as you put the car in reverse, it can go straight into reverse mode and, and it'll pop up on the screen. But today I'm not gonna be hooking up everything. I'm just gonna give you guys a review on it and show you guys exactly what the camera does and how it looks in the car. So we're gonna be hooking it up within the car instead of me putting it outside the car. You know, so I don't have to be doing too much um, running wires and things like that. I'll do that on another day. Yeah, these are the wires for the reverse light. And so you can plug into your reverse light on your car. So anytime it senses off that you're in reverse, it will pop up on the screen to automatically have your the picture show up on the mirror when you put your car in reverse and I guess these the screws and the little tape the little double-sided tape or whatever I guess when you mount the uh, the camera this is the camera right here so you guys can see this is the rear camera this is the rear camera it's supposed to be 720p and the front camera on the mirror should be 1080p so this is the rear camera for the car. Got the wire on it. So I'm gonna put that right there. We have the cigarette lighter charger. And this is plugs into your mirror. So this is what you're gonna have to be hiding, the wire. So me, as far as me, I know I like looks and stuff and I don't like stuff dangling in my face and stuff like that. So I know I would run it through the headline or run it down and run it across. 
it's long enough that you can do all those things so you guys don't have to be worried about that about the looks and things like that or you can run it down run it through that side through the um, passenger side take it in and take it underneath the bottom by the uh, glove compartment and just run it up into the cigarette lighter thing if you guys have a challenge you know I'll show you guys the mirror itself what I think a pretty cool pretty awesome review mirror and it would cover the whole mirror on the car and also you guys this actually swivels it actually swivels so you can point it in any direction that you want and it will give you a, a wide angle also I'm gonna show you guys a few clips of the wide angles and stuff like that so I show you guys everything within the video and so we have a USB port we have a AVN port we have a GPS port and we have a SD card tip that sticks in right here first let's get this off I like removing plastic from new things it's so satisfying <laughs> Woo. And this is a pretty good mirror, you guys. This I don't know if you guys can see. This is a pretty good mirror. So even if you don't want the camera on, the TV screen on, the whole full screen is a TV, you guys. So you know. And I just hit it on just now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is really good footage. Yep, you see me. You see your boy real to real. But yeah, man, man, that is really some good quality. I can't lie to you guys, man. This is probably one of the best looking mirror cameras I've probably been seeing. Because most of the time they always probably come with the little screen up in the side right here. And this one is a whole totally full mirror. So if you don't want the mirror on, the camera completely shuts off if you power it off. And you can still see like a real view mirror. But it's, it's so crazy. I wouldn't even want to see the regular mirror I want to only see the video because this quality is so good so we're gonna remove the back plastic off of the camera because I can see it within the camera and it's still clear so if it was clear like that then see now it's really clear you guys I hope you guys can see that see the difference that is really clear and man I would recommend this to anybody man everyone needs to invest into one of these and that's just not me saying it because the video is sponsored or anything like that but i just think it's a good product and i i i, I like it so far um where well, i'm actually loving it so far so hey let's get off into it let's mess with some of these settings it come with uh two bars of a battery so we can kind of mess with it a little bit let's tap the screen uh they have the camera so you can take pictures if somebody's on you like license plates anything like that somebody running on behind you or in front of you you can snap a picture of it it'll, it'll do it in reverse it'll do it in while you're in front so you never have to be worried about people on your tail no more if you want to hey snap a picture of a license plate or record them at any given time of them doing something crazy in front of you and then it will also protect you in wrecks the mirror will be recording at all times it will be recycling um, your memory. Like your memory chip would not run out of memory because it's gonna keep recycling and trashing away footage that you're not using. So never have to worry about that. Okay, so we have, I don't know if you guys can see that, we have video resolution and that's 1080p. We have the loop recording and it's 720p. We have exposure, we have auto screen, know if you guys can see that okay see what I'm saying we have G sensor we have parking monitor we have fort format SD card we have date time we have language we have default setting we have volume and we have firmware version we have operation guide so you can hit that scan it or anything with your phone anything like that and it'll tell you all about the um the mirror itself and so yeah i hope that should be helpful for you guys 
but we're not gonna get into all the setting up everything yet I would do that on a later day I just want to do this and get it hooked up and see how everything works and let you guys know what I think about everything so I'm gonna catch you guys in a minute once I get everything hooked up and I'm gonna show you guys how to mount the bracket and things like that onto the mirror and I probably just put the rear view camera inside of the car instead of outside of it just because I don't want to run everything right now so you guys I hope you can see everything so we're gonna be taking the brackets out for the back of it it's it's completely easy you guys to install yourself so don't be worried about uh, being too over dramatic about it or too technical with it. Just try your best, do your best, try to do it on your own rather than paying someone to do it for you. So it's always best to try things yourself, you guys. So we're gonna strap it behind, tilt that to the side a little bit. I'm gonna strap this. Hope you guys can see that. Mine is, I have a pretty wide. See, easy as it can be. That was one, and here's the second. It come with four of them, so you don't have to just too much worry about it too, too much like that. Whoop, <laughs> snap back. <laughs> had that snap back but yeah I think that looks pretty good I think it looks pretty good you have just a little bit sticking out over here on the side but you really can't tell you really can't see it me overall man it looks pretty good and then if you guys just really don't pay attention to what the camera actually looks like you can actually see everything from the back it's it's kind of crazy you can actually see everything from the back even even if you're not even looking at the screen you can see everything in the rear view like it's a regular rear view mirror and you don't even have to pay attention to it that is on like that you can still see you know because some people it kind of mess with their head sometimes so i'm letting you guys know that it won't even mess with your head you can still see if you didn't want to look at the screen to go in reverse you can still look at your mirror and see what's behind you also so yeah that's pretty cool man and i i pretty much like everything i'm seeing right now and so yeah we have this is the power button to turn the mirror on and off this is the power button and so let me hook this up into the cigarette lighter let me do that see you guys the the wire is pretty long so you don't you don't have to too much worry about that the lighter is really really long so it will tuck off and hide wherever you want to run it and then you know if you do order this you guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description of the video so you guys can um order your own and most of them come to where the wire is long enough to reach wherever you're trying to run it to we're gonna plug this in plugs in up here so you guys it just plugs in right up there so you guys won't be worried about that worry about it going down and stuff like that and you just plug it right into the cigarette lighter yep see now it's charging okay so now since we completed that here's the uh, rear camera so it do have a mountain bracket on it in case you guys want to put it outside of the car or anything like that let me take this little plastic piece off yeah I like removing plastic it seems like it's Christmas sometime when you move rem removing plastic off of things so you know you have something new but yeah they have the double-sided tape for this too in case you guys didn't want to just uh, drill any holes or anything in, in anywhere so they have the double-sided tape and I have it here right here and they have the two screws for it just in case you guys so so you know that in case you just don't want to drill no hole or you have to mount it inside the car and this these wires right here is for the reverse signal so if you guys want to hook up the reverse signal me I'm not gonna be hooking it up today I'm just gonna be hooking it up and showing you guys exactly what it looks like from the front and the back regardless to me putting it in reverse this plugs up 
right up there too. The same exact spot. As you guys can see, it plugs right up here. So it's really easy, you guys. This is the, the front for the cigarette lighter port. And this is for the rear view camera right here. So you guys can see that. So it's, it's really easy, you guys. And I'm just gonna roll the wire back there. I'm gonna show you guys this. So as soon as you guys, yeah, I got some different angles on you with my other type of camera. So I had to bring out my other one to help out with the video. So as you guys see, once you connect this, this, the rear camera and the wire that plugs up into the mirror up here. So once you actually put this together, as you guys can see, it automatically cuts on. Now you can see everything. Now you can see me. Upside down, there we go. Now we got it right side up. Hope you guys, you guys see me right there. I'm moving it up and down, up and down. So it gives a really wide angle, you guys, a really wide angle. You guys, man, also, it has full audio quality on here. And the audio quality is good. If I had an SD card inside there right now, I can show you guys exactly what the quality is. So you guys, this is what it actually looks like going down the street. As you guys can see, it is crystal clear. Same as outside. You can look right there and see. And it's really crystal clear footage. I don't know if you guys can see that right now, but yeah, it's really crystal clear, you guys. It's so HD. You guys, this is what it actually looks like in the rear of the car. And it shows pretty crystal clear and HD. Yeah, I, I guarantee this is a good product. Now, you guys, this is what it looks like at nighttime. Still crystal clear, still HD. You guys can see everything on it. So this is guaranteed, hands down, a nice rear view camera. So last, you guys, I wanted to show you guys, man, what it would look like in the rain from front and backwards. That's the front and pretty clear from out the front windshield and out the back windshield. As you guys see, you guys can tell right out the back, still crystal clear. So you guys, this is a really nice camera, a nice setup for you guys. So yeah guys, I hope you guys can see exactly what I see. I know you guys probably see me up in the, in the video and that's how good the mirror is on it. It shows everything within the picture, but the picture is so clear that either you're looking at the picture or you can see who's behind you. So yeah, so if you swipe, swipe it this way, it goes back to the front, back camera, swipe that way. Pretty simple, pretty easy, completely touch screen. I love this camera, this rear view cam camera mirror, you guys, man. And I I suggest you guys get them, get one also, because this, it, it, it makes your car just look totally better to me in regards to the looks wise. And then you just having a TV screen as a mirror. Like how crazy can they get? Like, so, this is going to be my review on this. Like, this is a pretty good product e -Home came out with, the A10. And that's just not me saying it because the video is sponsored or anything like that. That's just me saying that this is a really good product right here. Like, I done dealt with a lot of mirrors, review camera mirrors and things like that. But I never had anyone that was full stream that was so clear crystal clear as this one this is completely hd footage completely and i think it's just really really awesome you guys so i just wanted to share with you guys that and you know go check their uh, link out in the description go over there to their channel and look at their videos subscribe to their channel also but yeah you guys man i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys know that you guys can also do this too so yeah man your boy is gonna be out of here so, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey man, say man, hey man, it's your boy man, real to real man. You haven't hit the like button, subscribe button, the share button, go ahead, bust it down. And leave a comment down in the comment section what you think about the product. She popped the sand, the bitch asleep. My cool too fast, police to see me. If they catch me, they gon' try to see me.